cheese. Hello and welcome to Mead and Six Cheese. Morning, you just stared looking like a gorm. <laughs> Yeah, I told him that that silence between songs and him coming on. I was yelling at him to turn it on. I I did ask Muddy to go through it with me, but she has never. I was, I was going through it with you now. Through with you, it's just it's literally slide up, slide down. That's all it is. No, it's not. It's no, more no, it's not. That. You, all that's you all you've to, ever said, told me. Yeah, all you have to do is to be sliding. To be fair, you did miss out on this gormless face. He was just he was he was basically drooling on his own. Anyway, welcome all to Mead and Cheese. We got special cheese edition today. Yes. Yeah. yeah we got. Yeah. I, I, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, unfortunately, as I said before, Corey West won't be here today. DJ Mead is on a lovely vacation. Uh, Corey, he fell down some infinite stairs, but and we're currently trying to recover him. Ed has him. just entered the studio. Ed hey. has just entered the studio. We have. Hello, we have Ed. Tom Dye in yeah, the studio I'm, today. I'm a strong. I'm here to voice my opposing opinion to Mead and, and cheese. And he How dare you. he came <laughs> to the pre Mead session today and mm. has tried this week's Mead. Mm. We have mm. Maddie, the station manager. Yes. We got. Anna, Ooh. we're we just did not clap for Maddie. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't we don't clap, Maddie. We got Anna. Just, we got Anna and Evan as well. You know, I've been I've been curious. We also got Leroy off mic. We got Leroy yes. off mic. He's Ed. dancing. He's having and a good time. What was the young lady in the corner again yeah, called? Evan. Yeah. Alex. 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 And we have Alex behind us. And it's we have another support today. <laughs> we have a lot of people in. You know, today. I've yeah. been curious if you you will try say my surname on there. Really. Are you, tr- are you trying to trust no. him to say your no, last name? No. You no. I, I won't. I won't. But you say like I'll his, and then. I Have think... you heard how he says Camembert? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, right. The thing about Tom's surname, it's die. It's like it's a word I know. It's literally Tom yeah. die. <laughs> it's yeah. It's I got I got three I got two syllables, well, like, three letters each. Yeah. I'm a champion. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I'm efficient. <laughs> Quick, efficient. I'm always like a third of the way up from the bottom of the register. Mm. <laughs> nice. That's really nice thing in the life, you know. Oh, is it? In, 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 like <laughs> yeah. in your, if you you're waiting in the person. Yeah. if you're waiting in the queue for a GP, then mm. you know, yeah. No, I don't go to the GP. I just mm. get ill. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just die. Yeah, hopefully. No, I'm a good. I go to the doctors routinely. I'm a good boy. In all, in, in, in all fairness, I did only just move to the one with the uni. I've been. I just stayed at my parents. GP for eons, even though I didn't live there. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the TikToks. I'm we trying know. to set up the social media. Tom, and give us a good do something. Do something right. funny. Anyway, so. dance, monkey, Guys. dance. No. <laughs> Can I tell a joke? <laughs> go, go on, tell us. It's not going to be funny, but I'm going to tell it. <laughs> go on, tell us your okay. non fun joke. <laughs> okay, guys, recently I got fired from being um, um, a stage designer in a film. Yes, I left out of there without making a scene. Ba, ba, da, ba. Wait, guys, I'm gonna. That's not the thing. I'm gonna beat that. That's John Cena. So. Yeah, I know. It's bum bum. It's, it's the not. Crickets. It's not John Cena. It's the crickets. I really want to beat that. So today I bring a book. Who moved my cheese? And I just open the random pages and is saying in that. Ha- the, I, I'm just <laughs> saying the quotation now. Having a cheese make you happy. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I would love it's to hear damaged. more about this book later on in the show. Mm-hmm. I think we should either do like maybe a live reading from it. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. I mean, maybe we should tweet that out so our audience... There you go. That was wow. That was such a delay. And it, no, it yeah. might, should, we tweet some, should we tweet it out? See if our audience wants to listen to Who Moved My Cheese. You know we're busy on the microphone right now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Well, I can tweet it if you'd like. But No, your said, tweets are bad. Tweet us at yeah. Demon FM. Um, or even get involved We've on Instagram. We've already had a tweet from someone. Have we? Who tweeted? Ooh, Maddie, Ed? Tweet. Maddie tweeted. Did Maddie tweet? Yeah, yeah. I just tweeted. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, I fixed the grammar. <laughs> that's why it's bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put the next song on. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to do that. What button do I press? Uh, you press <laughs> the big the play. play in the top right. The big play. In the top yeah. right. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, you need to also turn the mics down. You don't have to. We can yeah. just talk over it. Leave me on. Leave me on. Everyone else turn off. Leave me on. So that was Year 3000 by Busted. It feels um, like Year 3000. What's your favourite song? By Busted, or just in general? Yeah, what's your... Solid Gold by Turbo for the moment. Yeah, Ooh. that is my one of my favourite songs. I do <laughs> love that song. Uh, what's your favourite song, Maddie? By Busted? Yeah. No, just in general. Yeah, in general. Oh, in general. In general, yes. In general. Um, I'll have to see. I don't know. I mean, I... I don't... I'm... 
I like songs more than albums. That's the thing with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm. I like a lot of songs, but I don't like them any albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why we invite you every time as well. <laughs> Make It With You is another one of my favourite songs. Mm. So Both the remix and the original. They're both very good. Maya Stick... The slower one. Kate Winslet... Isn't she an actress? No, no, it's not. That's okay. Mine's my friend. Wait, am I thinking of Kate Beckinsale? Oh, yeah, Celine Dion. Celine Dion, yeah. That's the one. No, my favourite song at the moment is um, CPR by an artist called Cupcake. Oh, no, we are not talking about that right now. And I thought it would be your favourite. Of course (laughs) it would be your favourite. Yeah, Maddie Maddie has a lot of uh, favourite songs. Um, Yeah, it's basically just horny songs. (laughs) Yes. On on this show normally we do like yeah. a mead ranking. Mm. Oh yes, and there's a new and uh, we can't do that today. We can't do that today because I can't actually. I, in good faith. In good How faith. did you misspell mead, Maddie? What? How? Uh, you know, dyslectic people doing like that. I know, but you sh- she had Ed proofreaded, didn't she? No, no, yeah. I just no. The tea, <laughs> I think people anyway. Good so, Lord. talking about med. Why are we giving the Twitter to the dyslexic one? Yeah, why? I, t- I said, Maddie. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, anyway. So, so in the mead chart, we currently have Lime Bay's Honey Mead, traditional, Ooh. at the top. Um, where, where was this shop and what was it called? Uh, the shop. I'll, I'll, I'll find it back. <laughs> I'll find out after the break. It is in Leicester. It's in the train station. Uh, you can only get in by knocking on the door because it's like they have to let you in I think it, that might be because it was like closing in the next hour yeah. <laughs> and then they had it's a that. Th- right, uh, what, what was the shop called sorry uh, I can't remember <laughs> okay. that's the name of the shop like I can't something, remember it that's it, a really good name yeah, yeah it's something remember. whiskey something whiskey yeah it's near it's, it's whiskey like, and wine or something whiskey like that. and wine yeah and um, oh the shop on the Granby Street yeah next to the train station yeah. 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 and it's amazing because it's the one shop in Leicester what sells mead um and we found this while we were doing the show, so maybe they started selling mead because of this show. Who knows? I uh, know they didn't. Uh, <laughs> and they don't sell the traditional honey mead, but I did get a bottle of the chili mead mm. um, today, and me and Tom Dye uh, tested that out. So, what did you think of it, Tom Dye? I enjoyed it a lot, an awful yeah. lot, I'd say. Twenty-three wine and whiskey. Yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, Corey last time was saying like a lot of the meads like we had a cherry mead and he said that tastes like an alka pop it tastes flavored like it'd be okay for a party but this chili mead it felt natural it felt like i don't chi- agree with what he said about the cherry mead either i think i think he's up his own hooter right there uh, I, I, it's not no i'm, I'm saying it, that is it is not good enough to have as an alka pop no i it yeah, it's th- not on that level. That, that, right? che- that cherry mead, I didn't particularly. I wasn't a fan, and that's. Well, why I liked I, it, but it wasn't. It was a good mead. It wasn't a like a party drink. I don't think it was a good. I don't mead. think Corey's been to enough parties. <laughs> well, Corey is like a, a loser, a <laughs> dog. You're not here. You <laughs> no, can't defend no. yourself. <laughs> no, he's, Damn. he's a very sophisticated man, no, and he knows Corey. a lot about mead. Call but, in. But, yeah. um, Tune in. He's at work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I think he's on holiday. Uh, this holiday? chili, this mead was very nice though. Yeah, it was nice. Um, chili mead. I don't think you would like it if you like spice. It has a bit of a kick. Uh, as I said, it like, much like um, as Evan tried out today, it, much like mulled wine was its spice profile. It wasn't like spicy. It just left like a tingle in your mouth. Hmm. Yeah. What did you think to it, Maddie? You tried a bit. I didn't mind it. It reminded me of um, like a mulled wine, but also like a little bit of. Um, I guess like a, spice a cinnamon one. bun, yeah. something like that. Like yeah. something that's not too spicy, but then well, it's, it's just, not too. Is it cloves? Is that the spice they put in it? I don't think I've I don't know. so. Uh, the thing is about this mead, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna make. I don't think I'm gonna vote to put it above honey mead. I still think honey mead's better. Mm. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with the second place. I don't know if it will have second place or third place at this current point. I have to have Corey test it. Yeah. And we can do a full analysis of the nitro uh, nitro little small bits in the mead. Hmm. Nitro. Yeah. Anyway, we what? what we have next is Happy New Year by Abba. Oh yes, more Jesus. Abba. Good morning, you're listening. Oh, to no, TV you skipped it. Contact- it's not morning. <laughs> you skipped it, my friend. You skipped again. And there's be there's gonna be no, this. This is you should be sad by, by Louis Fonsi <laughs> and Daddy Yankee. That was you should be sad, but I don't really think we should be sad. No, I think we should all be happy, particularly on the mead and cheese show, yeah. and the, and as Evan says, the mead and trees plus train show. We should always be happy. It's the most happiest place to exactly, be. Exactly, especially when we talk yeah. about trains. Okay, 
laid on me. Rank your trains. Okay, let's go. Japanese speed bullet trains. Overrated or underrated? What's under, your opinion on that? Um, oh, it I, depends. England doesn't need them on account of we have one city that matters and the rest is all garbage. <laughs> uh, I, 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 this is coming from someone who loves the North. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, there's no reason to build infrastructure for up here. You've got to build the cities first. You know, but, <laughs> but the thing is, that's why yeah. the civic engineers don't really have a job in here. Yeah. No, I, I disagree with that. The trains are the infrastructure. I think speed yeah, it, trains it, would be cool if they were uniting different countries in Europe. Yeah. Mm. Like, if you told me, like, oh, in half an hour, you'll be, like, two or three countries in Europe, that would be amazing. That is amazing. The thing is, that's the sort of thing what, like, connects the world as well. That makes people closer. It builds a community. Of course. Across the yeah. world. I wish I would... I know it's... I know I've, I've looked into it. I know it's practically hard, very hard. But I think we should be aiming to have a train what goes around the world. <gasps> and ships be so awesome. Oh, my God. That would be a dream come true. I think we could achieve world peace with that. My personal opinion, yeah. my personal unbiased opinion, yeah. trains can bring it, well, world peace. Well, I, I agree with that, but it depends on what sort of peace. Like, you could have peace, but it could be through, like, like in a very, like, authoritarian sort of state yeah. manner. I think I think as long as them trains are shipping, like, good drinks, lovely food, like, nice Ooh, cheeses, yes. nice meat around <laughs> yes. the world, I think that's the sort of way you can get oh peace. I, I feel that this is your dream train. Yeah. You know? I, to be fair, yeah, we don't know what, what type, type of train, train will it be, be yet. Yeah, yeah would, it, would it be a fast train, or okay. could we have, like, a steam train? Let's ask Maddie to tell us which train from her calendar, her amazing, <laughs> incredible train calendar, should be the train that goes yeah. around the world. Do you think it's March? Because I, I think I had the model of the April are, train. Are we crossing the Atlantic? Or are we just yeah. like going back and Underneath. forth across Siberia? Underneath. I think it's a January train, by the way. I think that's the main train. That's a train that sold the calendar to me, and I thought Maddie would yeah. love that train. But you know the train that's going to Russia, by the way? There is a train like that. Oh, yeah. And you can actually get from London to Russia. Just it's by train. But you can go through China as well. Yeah, yeah that's so the same one that's a trans Siberian <laughs> Railway. Oh, yeah, so yeah, much about trains. Now, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Maddie loves trains. She that's loves what we have trains. here on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you bought her that very, very genius. When she was a kid, calendar. she would always hum the Thomas the Tank Engine song all the time. Always, always. That's she why she actually fun. went for Tom. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine. This guy is all blonde. You know what? He travels worse, across you know, Soda you Island. I haven't scrolled that far on my TikTok, but there is actually a Thomas Tank Engine meme. Oh my god! <laughs> well, on my TikTok that I made when I was sixteen. <laughs> you had it coming for you. I'm sorry. You keep saying that. That's the universe talking. Karma. <laughs> I wish they did freight trains again. I'm bored of lorries. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Like, do you, uh, do. No, they don't. Not in England. Not really. Not in England. Yeah. They do because it's a really efficient way to move. No, they don't stuff. though in England. But they do you? You don't see them because they run at night. I work. I worked like next to a bunch of places where they do it. They just don't. They transport like they, st they transport shale and like stone, but they don't really yeah, transport but goods. Transporting that stuff would be really inefficient by train. But uh, yeah, but transporting forest. goods by out railways other than train is really. Oh, I'm shouting at Ed. He's off mic, but <laughs> I'll just talk louder. Yeah. Uh, no. But uh, but you but mean like by by tra traveling by lorry? What what do you mean like? Well, no, like, like illegal. No, no, the <laughs> stuff that goes in a lorry instead of putting it in a lorry, put it in a train. Exactly. Oh, if it's exactly. going halfway yeah. across the country, put it in a train. They don't yeah. do it, Ed. You're wrong. Yeah. I, I, I think they're still doing with the carbon, if they do. I, I don't think so in here, but in general, in different countries. Mm. But yeah. They, well, they, yeah, they hold they coal and stuff that way. Yeah. But we don't want that anyway. We want we, we want coal we, power. We should convert all the motorways Sun into train tracks. You know what? Germany has pretty much done that. There's like trains for everything. And yeah. Well, they, 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 they also have the autobahn. You know what? The thing yeah. about it. Uh, they also have good infrastructure. They also have a good. <laughs> and you know, they're, the, they're also like a well, uh, well structured yeah. country. <laughs> you know, you know from where you can know that you just go from Germany to Poland. Hmm. Oh really? About oh, yeah, that, right. that's about like the whole st when you're driving cars, it's starting like poo, 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 poo. so then you know that you just get in there. I I but think I think Leicester as a city um, needs an underground. <laughs> Underground trains, and, and, and I know you're going to say why you know yeah, Leicester is every as a walking distance, but I'm not just talking about Leicester's city. I'm talking about Leicestershire. You know the outer areas. You can go to Wigston. You can send it to Colville, to oh, Newton, and you can connect all these boroughs around Leicester yeah. and create economic growth from our great Leicester underground train system. You know the transport in here is so awful. If you yeah. don't have a car, yeah. you actually cannot go anywhere, yeah. and the, the price for a train is so Actually, expensive. and trains are fun. 
<laughs> that's the funny thing is like walking can get you anywhere in Leicester so everything is so obsolete yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the thing about Leicester is the trains are bad well they're not bad yeah, but they are expensive they're, they're, but they're expensive trains are way they're too expensive. not that good and the best part is that there's no buses that go direct to everywhere yeah. every single bus is an ev- bus, bus bus is an every stop bus like you can't get like to somewhere else on a bus. You have to yeah. go through nine thousand places yeah. first. But this is where the left the underground would like you know. This is where we'll take advantage. We'll, you'll just use. How far are you saying it's going? Then? I, I I think like to like. Is it going to Loughborough? All the way to Nottingham. Loughborough, Nuneaton, um uh, I think maybe Colville. I'm not quite sure. Colville's closer than Loughborough. So yeah. Uh, well. The thing, the thing is, uh, Loughborough, and Colville, Loughborough, and Leicester are quite like interconnected cities yeah. anyway. Yeah. And and the idea is, I don't know if I'll send it to Nottingham. I think because there's a good train already to Nottingham, yeah, and a good bus system already to Nottingham. I'll keep that. But to keep Leicester, pre- and I think the workforce of Leicester would be a hell of a lot more productive under my new train system. That's why we should yeah. vote Tom for mayor. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's running independent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the mayor, the meat and cheese party. Oh, oh my God! Yes, yeah. the meat and cheese party. Don't get him started. Exactly. We're gonna take over but the this country. Is, this yeah. is what is this show about? And I feel yeah. the main point is missing. We we were it's it's actually a lie. <laughs> we, this is a political campaign. We're breaking exactly. all of Ofcom rules we need, to try and get Tom installed. <laughs> we need politics. When did politics not make anything better? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I just really want to share that with you guys. You know, I used to live in Coventry, yeah, mm. and and Oof. then I need to travel yeah. for my foundation year to Leicester. And trust me or not, but it took me every single day one one way two hours mm. so imagine every day I need to put like four hours just because there was only one bus yeah. and mm. go on the certain hours like this is so not right no Coventry to Leicester is insane there's it is yeah. there's and no it, train well, no, only just, one bus if you've got a car it's really really fast for, uh, but people don't minutes. have cars exactly yeah. especially when you're a student yeah I had a friend who lives in Coventry I went out, once I went out the night out at his place and we got mugged wow <laughs> love Coventry mm. It's not that bad a place. It's not that yeah. good as well. No, it's it's like the the worst of the worst parts of Leicester <laughs> are Coventry. Uh, yeah. They've got a really good car museum though, if you like cars. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I don't know why I big up Leicester because Leicester's bad as well. No, <laughs> it's not. Leicester's not that bad. It's not that bad. The Coventry got only canal when the Leicester got the river. Hmm? I, I consider. Yeah. I think Leicester is a good contender to be the next capital of the UK. I don't okay. think. I don't think so. I don't think, so. think we've gone that far. You've gone a bit much. If man. you said England, <laughs> just England. England <laughs> would be okay. Oh yeah. No, it's, no, I don't think you would it's, be it's, okay it's, there. It's, it's, We're like the seventh biggest. Oh, no, that, We're tiny. That would annoy my. I'm not gonna say yeah. that. Uh, it, how do we rank? Indeed, Maddie, search it for a bit. How do we rank? I'll, I'll look it. Biggest cities in the UK. Let's okay. see what, what we got. Okay, let's go. With Number that. one, we've got uh, London. Oh, what a surprise! Leeds. What? Leeds? Yeah. What? Oh no, this is area. No, I don't want area. I want population. Leeds is not bigger than Manchester or Edinburgh. In <laughs> area, it is apparently. <laughs> Right, no. so, uh, yeah. population, we got London, okay. Birmingham, Liverpool, okay. Nottingham, Sheffield, Bristol, Glasgow, and then the big dog Leicester, coming in at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's but not you bad. Also That's include, not bad. If you also uh, include Wales as well as Scotland, then yeah. it would be London, Leeds, Swans... Oh, no, nope, you're wrong, Maddie. <laughs> You've got you went for kilometers again. So no, stupid. Glasgow is bigger, but uh, then Edinburgh is smaller than Leicester. Uh, I mm. and nowhere in Wales is even relevant. I I, <laughs> I have a big point about hey, this. Worcester. Hey Worcester, guys. Yeah, Worcester. But what is Worcester. Leicester um, like biggest at? It is for searching mead on Google. Yeah. You don't even know if that's true. <laughs> it's it, true. It, it we did true. it. It is true. We have data to back that. Ed mm. has um, the data. He. Ed, norm- is this true? Google Trends. Right. <laughs> For Google mead trends. searches. Yeah. Mead. Because it looks like woozy. Woozy. Then how do I do? Uh, England. Let's see. Let's see in England. No, but I've been to woozy. Uh, interest by yeah, Leicester. Leicester. We're winning it. We're yes. winning it. Well, we're winning it one. by because hundred to nine. We're beating London by yeah, miles. Yes. Yeah. And again, what 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 we say a lot of the time is. Corey probably went to London yeah. one week <laughs> and then there's nine searches but it has risen we have and again the purpose of this show is to raise awareness of mead oh and we've bring actually dropped this great time great cheeses <gasps> have, we, have we dropped yeah up, to, up until <laughs> December up to January we were doing very good oh my it's because we missed the show and that's the problem yeah. although in all fairness and I don't mean to bring you down <laughs> It's basically the same as before you started Mead and Cheese. I, 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 <laughs> we can't look at things when did, when, did, when did you start? 
Was it August? No, December. December. Oh, yeah, you've got nothing, yeah. dog. We can't look at these things retrospectively, though. We have to exactly. look at the data today to see how we're we're doing. Yeah, not great. And 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 I think the data today says Leicester is the number one for me searching, which makes Made in Cheese um, mm. the show. Yeah, maybe that's how... Because this data is uh, countrywide, but yeah. we know Leicester's doing it more. So maybe London used to have a big mead scene and they dropped out, and we're having to pick up the slack yeah, we, as we a are mead capital of the UK. Yeah, I think, I think like, if if we went back a few thousand years, like, it would be very... Thousand years. Thousand years, <laughs> yeah. We, Let's see how far, far... I can go for 2004. Can you go for, like... What? Uh, oh, there was a big mead boom in uh, 2007. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, apparently. Must have been those car bombs. You know, if there is any like... I apologise for oh that no. joke. <laughs> if there is any mead and cheese festival... Oh, no. Yeah, there is one in the USA, I think. Is there any new... Well, it won't be a mead and cheese I don't think mead so. festival. I think do you think that you should... I think Go we should. It. Yeah, yeah, we should. I, that's something. That's missing. That's something that's missing in the UK. Don't worry, we're going to contact the EMU Global. Yeah. We'll I, get you covered. I, I, I <laughs> don't think it should be like like a traditional festival. It's like on a field or. You know, I think it should be on a train. It should be like everyone gets on one <laughs> train. train and they go around the UK <gasps> drinking meat. I, I think it should be a rena- Renaissance fair because we don't do those in England. Renaissance. Enough. Renaissance, yeah. Why yeah, don't we do them? They're, they're cool. Well, I think it's because in England we have too much of the history here and we go and look at it and it's just dead rock. Me, me, I love it, month. but a lot me, of it is just, month. this is a Mott and Bailey. You can see a lump in the mud, which <laughs> is, which is there are a lot of them. I've been to a lot of them. There's one over there. Yeah, I know I went to that one. <laughs> It's just a, it's just a lump. No, it's not particularly interesting no. to look at. Well, they're interesting to know how they made them, though. But I mean, that's not what you get by looking at it. Okay, that guys. Was, that uh, was a very yeah. soulful touch. There. We've talked about twelve minutes now. Huh? Yeah, I think we should just break this down a little bit. Okay, there is going to be Coldplay and Viva la Vida. Oh yes. Ooh. Uh, Obviously, the tomorrow will come. And tomorrow- I, I don't know, like, why this playlist is so sad. Well, you put Obviously. that one. Um, no, this was me. Before, <laughs> before, before I left the producer's seat, I just threw in loads of songs Do randomly. You recognize? Well, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I recognised them. I just thought that title sounds cool. Oh, cool. Tomorrow never comes. Hey. I like the sound of that. I bet that'll tomorrow be good. Tomorrow will mm. come. And you know what will tomorrow bring? Saturday. Happiness. More meat and cheese. More meat and cheese. Which means Why, have you happiness? got delivery coming? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Amazon pack is coming. So, Tom, would you like to have a look on this book? Yeah, let's discuss the cheese book. Yeah, yeah. I will open you a very interesting page with a nice picture on it. Oh, I like pictures. because I, like I, I can't read, so I like pictures. <laughs> There's a receipt there. Do you want that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to pay for this book. Uh, so, there's a bit of cheese here. Yeah. Um... Wait, the chapter is called Who Moved My Cheese? Oh, wait, that's a book. That's what the book's called. Mm. Um, right, so on the bit of cheese it says, Old beliefs don't lead you to new cheese. And I think I, I actually quite agree with that statement because, like, cheese as a, as, a, as a concept has always involved and we have to, like, rethink cheese and re-add things into it. Like, what was it? Canonberry? Camembert. Yeah. yeah. The, Most the, importantly, what and cheese? Wednesdale. Yeah. And blue like, cheese. And blue cheese are all... What does cheese say about society? What does this cheese ab- yeah. say about our society? And I just think, like, you know, cheese is one of these things what's ever going to be evolving. You can always fuse it with new things. You know, I, I want to tell you Ooh. a little, like, uh, some scientific fact about cheese. So, the cheese got the casein in... And that's why you can actually get addicted to cheese. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that would that's, be amazing. But that's really true. Damn. Damn. You've got to be a real weakling. Weak to get cheese in a society. Cheese. Okay, do you want me to read the little chapter? Yeah, let's go. Go yeah. on. I don't know what this first word says. That's not good. Whore. Hmm? H A W. Whore, yeah. Whore hadn't found any cheese yet. But as he ran through the maze, he thought about what he had already learned. Hall now realised that his new beliefs were encouraging his new his new beliefs were encouraging he does really new like behaviours. He? he was behaving differently than when he kept returning to them same cheeseless station. He knew that when you change what you believe, you change what you do. You can believe that a change will harm you or and resist you. Or you can believe that finding new cheese will help you embrace the change. It depends on what you choose to believe, he wrote on the wall. 
I think we should make an audio book for yeah. audio book about Jeez. I like this yeah. idea. Yeah, I should read it as well. I like yeah. miss say things. But you should pre-read before you will start yeah. the ebook. Yeah. Yeah. Just for training. Yeah, no, no. I think what I'll do, I'll just keep the mistakes. Makes it a bit more authentic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. But yeah, that was quite moving actually. That was very moving. Yeah. Um, like make your life. It was a lot to write on a wall though. It had to be quite a big wall he wrote yeah. on. I mean, I could imagine that covering like at least one wall. And it must have took him a lot of time. So I suppose if he was going to write it, he must have you know, put a lot of thought into that. But you know, just, just for the record, that this book is about business. So it's business. not really about the cheese. It's about how to make a business. But I really like the way that they compare that to yeah. The cheese. I, yeah, I, and I think if you, I think like you're in for a win if you're you, if you have a cheese business. Yeah, because if you have a cheese business, then this, you're, is, this is not economic advice, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you should read this book. I'm particularly that page. This is our own our, our opinions. So this is like a, not economic advice. This is cheese advice. Yeah, I have mm. never run a successful business. Have you ever? done any business i i do some business yeah okay yeah i, I do it wasn't successful i know I, i know i do freelance like video work which Yay. is okay but I'm, i'm not a multi i don't have a multi-million pound brand yet not yet. yet and it's like that and once i do get that we will start building trains across the country oh, so cool. in uh in, if we wanted to We could uh, buy licensed independent local delicatessen specializing in cheese, reference $13.99, to Dunfrey's Larder up in Scotland for uh, £20,000, an existing cheese business. Damn! Wow. But we can buy it. Yeah, you can buy that cheese business. How much for? £20,000. Damn. With an annual rent of, that's a leasehold, an annual rent of £9,000 as well. well. What do you get if you buy it? Like, do you just own that business? Yeah, you just own the cheese business. Uh, uh, who's selling it? I mean, you'd have to deal with that because you now own the cheese business. <laughs> oh no, no, but I mean, like, like it says twenty thousand pounds, but I'm pretty sure that, I could... that's that's for every all of their assets, all of their everything. Yeah, we can negotiate that. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. We can get it twenty grand, eighteen yeah, grand would be fine. Eighteen grand, seventeen grand, a hundred quid. <laughs> I don't think they'll. We, that it well. is in Scotland though. Yeah, oh, they, they move, it is in Scotland. They, have to, they will have to move it to me, obviously. Yeah. Particularly if I'm paying more than a thousand pounds, like I would expect them to include delivery of the business. Oh, mm-hmm. you can you can make the uh, how do you call it? Fran- Francis uh, Francis franchise franchise. Mm. Yeah, you. yeah, you can make that and like do oh, it in well, Scotland have like, and in Leicester. I have like meat and cheese in Scotland. Yeah, because I feel like import that from yeah. there to here. Yeah, we we need we need one in Wales as well, in Ireland, and uh, the Republic of Ireland. Oh, that would be we nice. Did it all over the, all over. Then the we expand in Europe. We go to France, yeah, yeah. Germany, yeah. all over the world. Once, once we dominate the UK with meat and cheese, we'll we'll move out to the European market and Ooh. the American market. You know, let's just make everybody addictive to cheese. Yeah. And meat, yeah, and I think. Oh no, me that might be too risky. I feel sorry for all the lactose intolerant people. Oh. Yeah, you need yeah. an alcohol they vendor's license to do the meat. They will do lactose free. Um, I will say as well yeah. of the other the other cheese shops. Uh, one of the, the next one, the next cheapest one is a hundred and twenty thousand, and then the one above that is three hundred and seventy five thousand. It's quite a good bargain actually compared to. It's a good yeah. bargain for ch- yeah, cheap, I, ch- cheap Scottish cheese business. I know, but it's like, how much cheese would I get with that, realistically? Well, you probably get whatever they have in stock at the moment. Yeah, but that could be like one bit of cheese, or it could be a million bits this of is a, cheese. This is a decently large shop. It's a lot of cheese. <laughs> Damn. I like that we are actually going to see the cheese. Do you know, it's right, <laughs> right I, I, I've got a better way, though, to get cheese. A really better way. Rock have milk. you ever been to Amsterdam? <gasps> no. 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 Right, so in Amsterdam, there is a alley of just cheese shops. Loads of them. Oh. It's, it's going to be oh. cheaper to own that alley, <laughs> and, and and they all yeah, an alley with cheese shops. Oh, you have. Sure? I have. About, we're I talking about the same that. alley. <laughs> yeah, there's another alley with what you're thinking of in the red one. But, but there's also uh, the the, the yellow alley um, where there is just uh, like loads of cheese shops and. Hmm. Food can be a bit expensive in Amsterdam, and I'm cheap. And oh, I heard that. And I, <laughs> I so what I did when I was in Amsterdam, I went into the different cheese shops and just kept picking up like the tasters samples, oh. and I would have like a have a, a block of cheese from like each <laughs> shop in Samtum in <laughs> in samples. Issues. Sorry about that. It did make me feel sick of cheese, but it, it there is like 20 cheese shops just down this one road. And so, if you want a cheap snack in Amsterdam, cheese-based snack, do that. 
do they get a lot of money from all the high people who just walk in there and they're like cheese well i think I, i'm not sure because i don't know if they buy it because there's so many samples and like they don't seem that bothered if you have like one two three four five no. samples and like this is like i walked around each area each shop had like i had like 20 samples of 20 different types of cheese um that's why i know quite a lot about cheese because i got really greedy in amsterdam <laughs> but i it but did make me feel sick of cheese for a bit no but i still think that some people that right to post? they buy in the yeah, cheese yeah. for like a gift or taking back home yeah. the thing is like with me like, like i feel like yeah. after a while like people after having a few samples and you know the staff are nice they'll you know feel like they owed it to them to buy the cheese yeah. i felt like i owed it to myself to get eat as much cheese without spending any money yeah i've, I've you know like i I've, I've done this in the Turkey, so you know they got really good sweets in there, and then I've been just going in the market and trying different sweets. But then yeah. after I got some, and I, I actually yeah, bought that's where they get you for though, myself because they make you buy them. What you got to do, you just got to go around a few more times. But and you get know, it but when, when you really like something, then you want to eat that later on when you are back. You yeah, know, you that little memory pocket. with you. <laughs> put it in the pocket. Yeah. You put it in your pocket. You don't put it in the pocket, especially when it's food and yeah. cheese. Because that can melt, actually. I still have a bit of cheese. Oh, my goodness. From 20... This, mass, this market? 20, 20, 30, 20, I think from 2013, 2012, when I was in year seven high school, no, year nine high school, we went on a trip to Belgium. Mm. And oh. do you know, like, in the hotels, they have them little cheese packets what like they're like small bits of cheddar cheese and for some reason i just put it in my pocket and i took it back to the uk so this is this isn't even belgian cheese this is just hotel cheese yeah. this is hotel cheese like yeah from ratchet. belgium um and i just kept it in a drawer and i just haven't chucked it in the bin and it's hard now maybe one day i'll open it up and see what it looks like well, the thing about cheese is if you if you flens off all the rotten flesh on it and just get to the nice cheesy core that's probably still edible yeah, hmm. we'll just have like a rind on hmm. it. Maybe I'll bring it on the show, and we can someone dissect can it. Someone can volunteer to dissect and eat it. Isn't that that's a Diary of a Wimpy Kid bit, isn't it? Um, the cheese um, stuck to the floor. Um, it sounds like a jackass stand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Evan, you'll have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a jackass stand where it's like, oh, whoever don't die from the cheese. Yeah, we're gonna play a rock paper scissors. Oh, we're gonna do it like a Mr. Beast video. Who does? Whoever yeah. doesn't. <laughs> whoever touches the cheese for the longest. Yeah. Yes, gets five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. I'd, oh. I would win that. You think? Against you guys, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Rock paper scissors is quite easy to play anyway. It yeah, is. Yeah, there's, a, there's, there's a winning strategy. Yeah, what's the winning time, strategy? Right? Tell me now. Rock paper it's scissors. scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. I can't see anything. Rock paper scissors. scissors. <laughs> rock paper scissors. <laughs> see, Tom also fold. knows the winning you strategy. You will fold. Tom, he also knows the winning strategy, and it's always throw rock. Oh, he cheated. He's hacking. <laughs> no, so you win. Uh, in, in, our, in in our college, we had a trifecta of people: myself, Fred, and Archie. And I was the all rock strat. Fred was the all scissors strat. <laughs> Archie was the all paper strat. I always thought it was the, the ultimate strategy was all rock. Actually, Everyone else was a coward. You always go for scissors, though. Like that's that's like you always think scissors are going to win. Well, then I win because I'm all yeah, rock. That's what I think. You have You're to like, win, Johnson. You always do rock yeah. until they prove they're a coward and are going to break away from rock. I see, because you always think people are going to... I always think that people... People do scissors because it's the most interesting hand yeah. motion. Yeah, they're right. like, oh, paper, I'm flat, that's awful. Yeah. Or oh, rock, that's just a face, you do that no. all the time. Pa- yeah, I can, imagine, I can see why people don't want to do paper. Yeah. Uh, rock's would, easy Yeah, rock, rock's easy, you don't have to move your hands. But scissors is a cool one. And also, if you're like me and you just you do rock paper scissors, you forget to do anything. <laughs> you you know, you're likely you just still, rock, still win. Wait, wait, wait. What if we added a couple of things into this? No, game? we're not doing this. Bit. What if it was rock, paper, scissors, meat, and cheese? Meat and cheese both lose to everything. No, <laughs> meat and cheese beat everything. But which one beats each other? Um, we're gonna find out well, af- about this after water- watermelon and sugar. Hi, watermelon sugar. Hi. Welcome back to Mead and Cheese. Hello. Hello. We've swapped Hello, manager everyone. again. Demon oh, it's Demon oh. Advert. Spotlight. We love the Demon TV From advert. From script writing and producing video. T- Stop that. We love that. Yeah, goodbye, Demon. <laughs> demon TV advert as well. I anyway, mean, how's everyone doing? How's it, how's uh, everyone's evenings been going? Uh, Mead, cheese. It's a bit cheesy. It's a bit meady, but it's good. <laughs> I'll be honest, this week's been low energy. It low really energy has. Uh, so exhausting week. Mm. Too much stuff to do. It's February. February is quite a slow month. You know, once we get into the summer months, we should start building, speeding up things. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
I would say every month it's like busy for me. Like, <laughs> so. I know, it's not like it's not busy. It just feels like everything's a bit takes a bit longer to do. Yeah, yeah because it's yeah. the end of the winter and you're like, is yeah. it spring already? Can mm. can yeah. we move to the beat where the day is a bit longer? Yeah. The weather is better. How many, to- how many times has it snowed this winter? It snowed a couple of times, isn't it, in Leicester? Twice, yeah. Twice I think. Mm. But it was like not even, not even close. Well, there was to one where it snow. settled three times, three times according to our off-site companions. Mm. Actually, this is uh, this was not even it. actual snow. Mm. As a person who has a lot of yeah, Polish friends, they saw oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. snow. Well, well, obviously, no, no <laughs> southern English snow is anything. Like because uh, it was Christmas and oh, no, it was New Year's and I had COVID. I was in my bedroom and I remember watching all my friends' stories and oh my yeah. god, mm. it was everywhere. What was this? Yeah, the same in like Scotland and stuff. Anywhere north, it turns and out Wales. that the north you go, not Wales. Wales has snow. Yeah, but it has it has the same level it, of snow as Leicester. It A lot of snow. snow. It does. It doesn't count it does, the snow. Really. The, I live there, man. Yeah, and you're 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 misremembering then. Yes. No. Because Wales isn't colder than the rest of England. It's colder than Leicester. Not by much. Hey. Well, it is colder than Leicester, okay, okay, okay. but not can that ask, much. Can I ask a question? Because I had an a interesting conversation with a person that was considering Wales part of the north. Is That's it absolutely or not? not true. No, it's Wales not. It's its Wales. own thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the middle. Yeah, it's not even in it's the like middle. The it's in the south, oh, kind of. It's not, you know, it's, no, no, it's, ca- not, it's, it's not classed as the south. No. It's, it's just straight thing. western. Straight western, like a cowboy. Wow. It, <laughs> anyway... No, uh, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Because it's coming up soon. <laughs> oh, great, great, man. Thanks, Would you like man. to come on, Mike? Yeah. I thought I brought the jokes in the show. Yeah. Wallace and Gromit night. Hey! Is, I'm in for that. Yeah. I, every, all but one person I've said it to. Actually, no, they also later agreed and relented because it's the greatest idea yes. under the sun. It's, yes. Oh. Wallace and Gromit. Oh, my well, God. Like, I, I, obviously, I, I am not a currently... Um, in a relationship person it, 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 in a past, relationship person um, yes entire uni career so I sit down and watch Wallace and Gromit with <laughs> rum and cheese and I'm going to have a pie this year because I want a pie I'd go out and like get a nice pie but I'm going to go get, get one of those ones that's in a tin because I think that's just funnier what like a suet pudding <laughs> no, no like a pie no a pie yeah, they have suet. There's a pie as Why well. Why would you choose Suet the bad pudding one? is not a pie. What kind of pie? <laughs> it's barely pudding. It's, <laughs> it's barely suet. What is the difference between pie and pudding? It's literally the same. Oh, pa- don't pie, say that. My mind is racing. <laughs> pie in the UK refers to well, there's apple pie, but that's weird. Apple pie isn't. No, as we, great. Have, we have we have sweet pies. There's yeah. blueberry pie. 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 Is good apple as pie. A meat pie. pie. Meat pies are amazing. Meat pies. Oh, no, I, I there don't there like is it. a great pie place in Worcester called the King Charles, which is a pub, but they sell uh, amazing pies. It looks disgusting. <sighs> it's really nice. Well, so it looks like a you know, food for a cat. No, no, think no of it. they're not that That's bad. Not a pie. They're not that bad as a it person is, who has tried them out. It's classed as a pie. Bad, but it's yeah, but why, why, did you, why was that your go to jump to? You know what I would like to try? I mean, your pie. Oh, yeah, suet pudding. Well, no, because, like, for me, like, that's a classic. Just home. Orange, if I'm feeling homesick, I'll have a suet pudding. He's not, no, he's not feeling homesick. He's feeling lonely and watching Wallace and Gromit. Exactly. That's my okay. go to. Because it's nice and soft. I feel lo- oh, I do. You, you, look, Ed, there's no shame in loneliness. Okay, sorry, can I ask a question? I want to try. That's why I've tased myself. egg that has Meat How's it called? It's like egg. egg. Oh, Scotch egg. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna try this one. They're nasty. You know what? I've called it Scottish egg. <laughs> I don't know why. They're not even Scotch. <laughs> they're not. They're Scotch yeah. eggs are not. Egg. Yeah. No, no Ed got freaked out yeah. when I turned around and said, "Oh, you've never had a baby's head before." Oh, what that? Wait, what? It's, what? what? it's what? another word for suet pudding because it's soft. No, no. Maddie makes loads of stuff this up. This is yeah. not. No, yeah. come on. This, this is an is actual thing. Not true. Baby right. head. Baby. Baby's head. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, we don't need babies where I come from. I'm sorry. Baby's heads, no, baby skulls are soft <laughs> with bones that move and split in two sides. Exactly, uh, hence the reason why you call suet pudding baby's head, because it's all like. No, no one squishy. does that. Because mm. you kill it if you touch it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you throw it in the air. And baby's you head pudding, it, one like. star. <laughs> <laughs> baby's head pudding, no reviews, no one likes this. Why would you wait five hours for. What British baby's dish head? is called baby's head? Steak and kidney pudding, so not even suet pudding. No, because it, ta- it counts as suet pudding. It's no, it's not. It's, it's a no, different it's thing. It's a completely different thing. It's not. It's uh, not the same. 
Ah, Maddie, you're just so you're you're wrong and stupid all the time. Food Network, sue it right there. No reviews, Maddie. Yeah, that's no no reviews. That one's not real. Somebody just that's someone put that on. That's you. You made that before this. You you prepared this. This is gaslighting, I swear. Oh <laughs> Maddie, we wouldn't have to gaslight you if you went wrong all the time. I We're not it, gaslighting you. I think you're it's wrong. a suet pudding. No, what, you think calling a suet pudding a baby's head is correct? No. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of Wait, Maddie, are you saying baby's head is correct? Yes, yeah, she thinks well, it's well, no, a baby's head. No, I call it a suet head. pudding, but some people do call it baby's no, head. No, well, you said Ed calls it a baby's no, head. No, I didn't. I said, I said in front of Ed, I call it baby's head this. sometimes this is wrong and then Ed was like wrong. what no, Maddie was who, making up. who calls it that who yeah. like some people but who? people from fucking che- uh, China from Cheshire <laughs> from Cheshire, from Cheshire. Yes, people they from don't. Cheshire we apologise for Maddie's from. language where are you from Maddie I'm from, from Wales slash baby's shoot, um, Shropshire <laughs> But I said, well, you live close enough to... Um, There's apparently a thing called a drowned baby... A drowned boiled baby pudding. But that's <laughs> not what she was talking what? about. That's even worse. What? This lady, uh, where do they get these names right. from? Like, what is going well, on? Well, most of them are from, like, early England, when everyone was just really morbid. Yeah, because England has become so yeah, happy the last few years. No, but <laughs> we're, we're less about dead babies oh, now, the though. Best name that is not a nice-looking food. Spot uh, dick. Really it's got to be. <laughs> Yes, what? it is, it is, it it's is. Spotted dick. Spotted There's dick. no other oh, yeah. solution. <laughs> Come on, it's spotted dick. For some reason I was trying to I still don't like raisins. I don't like, I mean, I like raisins, but I don't like cooked raisins. And that's what spotted dick's all about. Like raisins and altar- yeah. sultanas. Yeah, I'm like, well, they're not really cooked, they're just warm. What do you exactly. think of, um, it's nasty. Wait, oh, before, before, jack, jack fruit. before, you already said that, but yeah. before you go with that, I just want to say goodbye. Oh, oh yes, thank you for joining us, Anna. And wish you all good Valentine's. If if anybody will ask, uh, I'm gonna go with my partner for a nice trip. In oh. Losers, Ooh. losers. Watch Wallace and Gromit. Well, yeah. well done, well done, well done. But I don't know what I'm gonna get gonna for him. Cinema, we book one out. Get him made. Get him made and cheese. Get him made, get him cheese. Oh. I will love or, it. So good or thank get him a calendar with, with trains. trains. <laughs> People love it. Oh yeah, yeah. This joke will never die. I swear. Anyway, we are going to cut to a quick song and Annalise. I'd like to talk about my Valentine's Day plans. Uh, just before yeah, Annalise. I want to hear that. Uh, I'm going to perform a series of artful dance moves in my room. <laughs> that sounds good. Amazing. Ah. Yeah. I love that. That yeah. sounds... Yeah. What yeah, sort I, of art? I, will cop- I think I'll, I'm going to copy you. I'll and hold I'm positions for a long span of time. Oh. And Isn't I'll emphatically yoga? jump into different positions. <laughs> much like a, an interpretive dance. And the, 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 If you interpret it correctly, <sighs> and the interpretation how long you do will this be for? eagle. Yeah. 14 hours. Wow! <laughs> I have a lecture. Have, I can't go longer than have that. Have fun. No. <laughs> Is this your preparation for Wilson Goblin? <laughs> yeah, I, li- I limber up over the span of fourteen hours. Anyway, and dancing. We're going to cut to some music so Anna can move away and go in her own direction. Goodbye. She's going to go learn how to do cameras. Yes. Oh. Hello. Dida 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 do do. Dida dida do. That was the hamster song. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Well, no, that's not a hamster song. That's hamster dance. Hamster dance. Yes. Even that. better. The hamster dance song. Yeah. The hamster dance. It that is gets seventeen us minutes past it's, it's eight, and dance. you are joining us on. No, it's not. It's the hamster dance song. Oh, yeah. My hamster dance. That's because I. Oh, is that you naming up. it in the system? Yeah. Oh. Corey's not here. It doesn't work as well. No, it doesn't. Yeah, work. It doesn't. Yeah. Should we all just like sit in silence for a bit until the no. silence thing flashes? I, I, I think that will be. Tom, funny. can you bar on it. command? No, you should bar into the mic. There's a silence <laughs> button. I've never yeah. seen it. I mean, I talk all the time, so. Yeah, it's the yeah, no, it's not. It's an alert, and it sends Ian an email. And by the time it, the email is sent, we just go. Uh, do we, <laughs> did you, <laughs> and then we let and then we get quiet again. <laughs> okay guys I got a bad joke let, no, can I throw it go okay so how do you get a bunch of Pikachus to get on the bus Pokemon boo yeah you Pokemon Jesus how you, you have to do that? that Digimon so how do you make Lady Gaga cry <laughs> Digimon how? you, you poke, poke her face. face oh my god and then they must they say my jokes are bad Jesus <laughs> well no I was doing a parody of you I, I have good jokes trust me they're, they're not here right now, but I, they're, no, they're in Canada. If your jokes aren't here, then I'm going to continue here. my dad's jokes on Wednesday. Four till six. Yeah. New show with Higa. Tune in. Everyone's got new shows now. Torrin's got his own show as well. Yeah. <gasps> really? Yeah. He, he wants to do it every other week, but I said just do it every week, but then fill your off week with nothing. 
or he can you know Just record one way well, he does that because he says he'll way. run out of music but he doesn't realize how much music there actually yeah. is in the world yeah and he was doing like a year and I'm like you know there's like yeah, there's more than years like an hour there's a lot of music in the world I, I'm very aware that there's a lot of music in the yeah, world it, it's almost Too like much. there's an infinite amount of frequencies I think there should it, be less it's music it's only limited by how yeah. much you know he's going to go for playlist manager who? Yeah. Corin. What is playlist manager? It's basically just sorting out the playlists what pl- and the clocks what? and everything for, oh. for Demon. Wow. Mm-hmm. We have many roles that we don't actually Yeah, that's use. not a role that happens. We all have roles. I, I think that we should just get Torrin to do that so that he can make a list of all the songs on the system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my S God. S Club 7. 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 That's what you see when you open the Ooh, system. Oh, busted. Yeah. <laughs> expose. A little expose. Oh, McFly. Oh, Ooh, the script. And on the bottom is like all the stuff that I bring that are weird stuff. How much Elvis do we have? I don't know. Uh, we have a lot of stuff we by people. a man called Bernard Parmigiani, who <laughs> was an early electroacoustic pioneer. We only have one. One oh. time. You lied, Ed. I, I, I think that you should put it on because everyone will be very weirded out by it and won't like it. Well, I'm not Shout out anymore. to Kieran who's listening while cooking. He's just sent me a message. What are you oh cooking, Kieran? Kieran yeah, you're what lovely. are you cooking? What are you cooking, Kieran, with Call a sexy in. accent? <laughs> he's making things for Nottingham. Ba- he's making things for our bake sale. <laughs> That's what my Greek friend, friend said. Bake There's though. nothing sexy about mm. Nottingham. I'm sorry, but my Greek friend said that his voice was sexy. It's not me. <laughs> It's an anomaly. I don't know what to yeah, tell about fine. them. I'm it's embarrassed fine. about them. I mean, to be fair, I think they were about to lynch Abby for the fact they didn't. She didn't know about. Um, <gasps> oh my god, she didn't Harry know anything Potter. about Harry Potter yeah. and Kung Fu Panda tissues. I know it's funny because I was just straight dissing Harry Potter, but they didn't jump on me. Yeah, but you're okay with someone yeah, hating it, not yeah, someone not knowing it. Yes, because you at least know about it. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't. No one should know about no, that. Everyone should know about really it. It's not good. good. It's, it's, it's a very strange thing because it's about a bunch of posh people who won't let p- other people, you know, all of their fancy stuff <laughs> that could literally save lives. Yeah, and they're the correct ones. So though. basically, yeah. the Harry Tory party? Yes. Harry. Yeah. Uh, well, no, also right wing Labour. But we're not political. These do not reflect the views of Demon. Yes, or, or this is our opinion. Yeah, these do not reflect the views of Demon because Demon Media believe that Harry Potter is a brilliant franchise. It no, we don't. It's also the same goes back. Great books, series, great films. Stories you can't you can't fault it. Harry's a, Harry's a lovely lad. He's not. He's a Mary he's lo- Sue. He's crap. He, he, he's a lovely. <laughs> he's lad. awful. He's he stupid. Is, and he's really dumb. And we hate don't, him. don't listen to Tom die. He's he's been a negative. My favorite scene in Harry Potter is the one where they slowly peel yeah. his skin off his hand. No, yeah, no, um, Tom. You being I, I might have just dreamed you, that one. You're, you're <laughs> being a negative no, you're thinking of when you, like, all the bones in his arm go down. No, there's a scene where Harry grabs a hangnail on his finger and pulls it back and his whole skin comes oh, off. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. That is a, a now associated with Harry Potter does. for the rest of the world. Yeah, b- mead and cheese, everybody. Yeah, welcome to mead and cheese. cheese. This is what happens when Cory's not here. Do they drink mead in Harry Potter? No, yeah, they drink butter no, the bit. butter bit, which is absolutely vile. It's yeah. lovely. It's delight. It's upbeat. It's modern. It's refreshing. It's I've never tried it. What is it? Wait, is it like beer? Also, also no, no. It, it, have, you nice. ever had, have you had cream soda? Yeah, it's before? cream soda. This yes, is cream soda. <gasps> I love cream soda. But of course you do, because you're cool. Wizards. Of course, and I love it. In yeah. Harry Potter, do my they man, pay tax? My man. Come here. No. Well, no, they of course don't pay they don't. Tax, no. like, they, they pretend they don't exist. They're, it's all the tax dodge. Yeah, because I, I literally just sat here, just like, wait. So there's this entire town, the one that they go to to drink the butter beer, and I'm just like, wait. So these people just exist off the grid as a tax dodge. Yeah. yeah. It, it, did they invent? Is this all just a lie to as a tax dodge? Yeah. None of this is actually happening. It's just like a bunch of people who are just like. And imagine I don't J.K. Really Rowling wrote it. it. They imagine <laughs> drink, George. Imagine drinking butter beer and watching Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they do, they all they apparently drink pumpkin juice in Harry Potter. Oh my god, that is even worse. Yeah. Have yeah. you yeah. ever yeah. tried pumpkin juice? Pomegranate fizz. No pomegranate juice. Uh-huh. Sorry. Pomegranate juice is all right. That's, all right. That's a normal fizzy. drink. Yeah. Everyone likes it. Uh, gilly water and gurdy root and fusion. Gilly water is nice. They yeah, drink. They drink water. Sounds like someone is just know, weed in a, something in Harry in a, Potter. Yeah. In a pot or something. It, it lets you breathe underwater. It, yeah, it is public it, school. It, yeah, gilly water is more for practical applicants. Um, so you, you you have it and then you can breathe underwater. Um, That's gilly weed. The what? fact that I know that is really yeah. Sad. Gilly water is potentially an ingredient of it. Yeah. Maddie, come on. But you eat gillyweed and then you get girls. Yeah, come on, yeah, I watched... Yeah, gilly weed come on, I watched... I genuinely thought you said you eat it and then you what? get girls. <laughs> no, 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 that's... <laughs> no, I've been there is one of those. Has anyone played? Yeah, I, I, no, I've gilly tried weed. that. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, well, no, you, you do, but they're all weird, like, Harry Potter fans. There is... Like, yeah. you, you know, I don't want that again. There is also tongue-tying lemonade squash, apparently. 
That's probably like really sour. That's the whole point. I assume of it. so. And then there's also hot chocolate. They drink hot chocolate a lot. Oh wow! They're hot very chocolate. Cool. How wizard? How so yeah? There's the, how wizard? There's a bunch of like seventeen year olds in a school in the middle of nowhere, and they're not just drinking booze. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 I think like, they do. It's a children's book. You know that, right? And if it's yeah. a children's book, why are the last one so dang boring? Well, why did they I'm not? not they, they oh, we grew up with our audience. No, you didn't. You're still bad. They're amazing. They're not. The last ones don't know what they are. What, what is everyone's favourite Harry Potter game, and why Prisoner is it Asker Harry Man? Potter and the Order, of the, Order of the Phoenix? Of it's Man. definitely not Order of the Phoenix. Prisoner it's, of Azkaban. It's, it's an amazing game. The right. se- uh, what's, the, what's the second Chamber one? Chamber of Secrets is also very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chamber of Secrets is very the good. The game. Yeah. Yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Azkaban. Yeah. We're talking about the video games. Uh, the, the, Azkaban. Uh, the, the Lego one's quite good. <gasps> yeah. Uh, yeah I've never the got on with that though. one. They're, they're, they're not. No, they're no, Lego Harry Potter stories. is different, and I'm not a big, as big a fan of it. Chamber of however, Secrets is the best one. However, the, oh my god, look at that PS1 graphics. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that they released that on PS1. PS1 100 for well, live. There he is, there's Hagrid. Yeah, <laughs> PS1 Hagrid for live. Look at that game. <laughs> I didn't know there was one for each each game. Yeah, yeah. each movie. They're like 90% of Britain's cultural export. Of course they well, are. Well, that, that, I think that's something we should oh, be proud of. Oh, look at that of. face. <laughs> this, is something, this is something we should be proud of. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just look at her mind. Yeah. Like, no one else can oh, see this, but wow. I'm going to clarify. Like, can yeah, we, 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 can, we need to stop doing visual content on radio. Right? Like, talking about video games, Witcher, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I've no. almost beat it now. Have you almost beat it? Uh, I'm doing all the Toussaint stuff, and I enjoy uh, it an awful lot. I haven't got to Toussaint yet. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's very hard. Fun. My favorite ones are the whites, who are just they're like, they're like zombies, but they just sort of walk around until you draw your sword, and then they go mad at you. <laughs> but my issue was I was walking around all nicely, friendly with them, and then Roach, my lovable favorite horse, walked in, whinnied, tried to kick it in the face, and then it killed me. We heard of that. It was very good. I enjoyed I mean, that game. I've never tried to play the Witcher game because I've have en- I have enough Polish people in my life. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to lynch you after that. <laughs> no, they're not. They yeah. always no, love me. Anyway. Here's the thing. Here's the cool thing. You you approach this as you approach a relationship. You say <laughs> sorry a lot, Shaprasham, and then you finish it with I love you. Go home, chair. See? She agrees. <laughs> so it works like, every time. I was, I was too distracted by Harry's face, yeah. but... <laughs> Ron! <laughs> wow! Oh, my God! <laughs> Just PS1 graphics. That ain't PS1. No, that is that's like, like a the three. only one that looks any decent is Hermione. But even no. then, it's like the big chin. It's like her overbite is well, like wait, that. The main issue is Rupert Grint. I love you to death. You do look gormless in a lot of the shots in oh Harry Potter, God. and I'd assume you were supposed to act that way because you don't look that way in all of them. Mm. But when, when you when you're supposed to look gormless, man, do you pull it off? Mm. <laughs> oh, vey. Oi, vey. <laughs> we have really steeped to new lives. No, we're not. No, we're not. There's no, always no, somewhere no, lower no, we, we yeah. can get. There is places lower than the basement. Mm. And I am very hungover, so I am very lack about lax, relaxed about. If we were real, I'd be mad at them. Oh, everyone would because you know. What are you share doing? The wealth. What are you doing? You're not doing anything, and you stink for it. Mm. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> well, you, you also don't do anything. Oh, you know, what's it? Um, Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium oh. Leviosa. Like, just take it away. So. Put it in. Oh. Oh. And then later in the film, they they can all just, like, do that without saying anything. But Basically. They never, like, what's Yeah, the but deal? that's because she was a petulant child. Yeah, but how can Bronze Monk can just, like, make everything work in her house, but also no one else is doing that all the time? Yeah, the thing is, they, like, <laughs> teach kids at some point I how to do him. magic without actually it's saying PS1 the Hagrid. word. Found him. PS1 Hagrid. Yeah. Everyone should have a look there at PS1 Hagrid. Hagrid. He's he's he is one. iconic. He's, he's I, legendary. Is, what's the quote that they have on TikTok? I'm sorry. I went inwards and... <laughs> I'm sorry, but... What is that? Whoever animate... Whoever, like, did the drawings for the books it's a little bit that's that's honestly i i get these books are bad I mean, they're not <laughs> great i'm i remember reading with them with my dad Niche. and we just got sure bored. sure man <laughs> the books are amazing that's all i'm saying on them and the, and the films are even better guide us to a new topic then yeah and that that concludes the Harry Potter section. I think oh everyone God, yeah. agreed here that the games are amazing, the books are amazing, and the films are amazing. Thank yep. you for everyone for it agreeing on that. It is twenty-eight minutes 
past eight and we are now going to listen to a little bit of Lady Gaga with some stupid love. Gaga. Because we have some yeah, stupid love for Harry Lady Potter for some Gaga. reason. All the things you, she said by Tattoo. Honestly, I absolutely love that song. It's what such a classic said, from Maddie? the 90s. Huh? All the things what you did you say, Maddie? List everything you've said. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. what was your first word? Let's start. Yeah, Maddie, what was your first word? Um, if I, if well, I don't know if it was actually true or not, but apparently my first word is bird. Bird. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah. You saw a guy. You pointed bird. <laughs> bird. <laughs> it's just like say, mommy. Mm, bird. bird. <laughs> what was your second bird? word? Apparently, <laughs> it was dad. So, what was your third word? I don't know. That's not a good look. Because it was not recorded after that. She still hasn't said mum. I don't think she yeah. was okay. a proper baby because the proper baby would have its first word as me, then its second word as <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think that might have been what, how swear. Corey was formed. <laughs> That's how Corey was born, yeah. Like, he just That's came straight out and just read. <laughs> just uh, took Evan, the bottle. You need to cover the show more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do He's my been best. like three times, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, times. you need to come on it more. You need to like, me- you need your own mead and cheese section. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mead and cheese and Evan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DJ me I love that you're DJ Cheese. It's so unfair. I hate it. I I don't like being called well, Cheese. The rest no, of I th- I think it should be Mr. Cheese, because then it's DJ Mead and Mr. Cheese. If it makes you feel better, it's not <laughs> like the rest Dr. of the Mead DJ names are good. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, 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 to be fair. It's uh, DJ <laughs> Yaboy, DJ Red, nothing special. <laughs> DJ Yaboy. Yes. I'm what? called Scamp on my radio show. <laughs> Everyone refers to me as Scamp. Right. No, we don't. Scamp. They I'm toss me biscuits and I catch them out of the air. What, what did you call yourself earlier? Something dog. Oh, uh... The beaten dog? I can't remember. Ground dog, I think it was. Ground dog day? Yeah, it wasn't ground no, it dog. it wasn't ground dog. It was yeah. something more violent. Than that. Ground bad dog. Day. was a ground dog. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What is a ground dog? Shout the out to, um... The is a little guy. Shout out to Brooke. They're a type of who's just tweeted at us. At Demon Ooh. FM, writing an essay and listening to mead and cheese it's nice makes to know that it much better to cheese to host the show. How she can you write an essay <laughs> while listening to this? A oh, good question. Uh, can we have a liberation? Uh, how like how how are you able to? You are a better ma- person than me, Brooke. <laughs> Whoever you are, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Um, make sure you somehow mention mead or cheese in your essay. <laughs> is your essay on oh. me? Is it on is me? Yeah. Are you yeah. are you doing like a PhD in me? Because if you are, oh, come on or the show, geez. we'll talk about it. Or Either geez. way, uh, back to our earlier segment. What is Kieran cooking? What, what is Kieran, Kieran cooking? cooking? We still don't know. He has not messaged Bing. back. It's very rude. I'm glad <laughs> She's cooking up. it. Uh, <laughs> shall we have a guess? What do you think Kieran will be cooking? I Pasta. Think I think he's cooking something with cheese. Pasta. I, I think he's. Got no, let's wait, get, let's get can have meals without cheese. What sort of pasta? Uh, Ooh, pesto. pesto pasta. Okay, no, 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 no. We need okay. more specific. We yeah, need what, like what type, type of brand? pasta. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is it green pasta, 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 pasta with uh, 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 No. What what type of type? What pasta is it? Like uh, rigatoni. 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 Okay. And oh, the cheese is um, maybe it's matured cheddar. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I think he's cooking. Wait. So how long ago did he say he was cooking? He was cooking about uh, about half an hour ago. And he, well, how did he sat sound when he said, "I'm cooking"? He said, um, <laughs> "Actually, no, it wasn't half an hour ago. It was now. I don't know. Twenty hour. minutes ago. Twenty minutes ago. Oh. Yeah. And if he's still Ooh. cooking, it could be something exciting. I think it might be cal- um, carbonari. What's that? Huh? Carbonara. 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 Carbonari. Yeah. Same uh, thing. No, 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 no don't say that. I think <laughs> don't it's say burgers. That. I think <laughs> cook- I think he's cooking himself a burger. He's up, he's I reckon he's got a bit. I be- reckon he's got a bit of sliced cheese in there. I reckon he might have a bit. I, I don't think he's got. I don't think he's putting vegetables in there. I think he's going for tomato sauce. And yeah. I think he's got a carb. And I think he's got some. Uh, Please oven. elaborate for the listeners. What is a carb? No, like, he, they're Leicester listeners. They're Leicester listeners. They're Leicester yeah. listeners. I'm not elaborating on 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 standard Leicester language. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I have a feeling that Kieran is the sort of person that doesn't care and is currently having a barbecue. He's yeah. from Nottingham. Do th- what do they eat? Yeah, he... Not, well, we don't want to go into that because Nottingham people are weird. Yeah, My, they my are. belief is... Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah, they are. I so went there, like, for a day and I had, like, three weird people, like, either approach me or be in front of me or back of me. I'm like, sure, what is like, going on? My dad lived there for a year and he hasn't been back. I reckon he's eating, <laughs> sl- he's eating sloppy steaks, I reckon. No, I think he's... I'm sloppy thinking steaks. it's beans and cheese. Salisbury what, do you think it's no, like what, what like beans on toast yeah. milk steak no sloppy steak you take a five star cut of meat glass of water dump it on it eat it before they can kick you out of the restaurant milk steak the sloppy K- steaks Kieran, slop if, them up if you can hear us 
let us know what you are eating tonight or cooking. Even. Maddie, don't forget your um, capitalised letters. At the you know what? Sentence. I'm just going to let you do it, Ed. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? I think again, the dyslexic should not do the Twitter. <sighs> Try. I, I like. I like seeing all the spelling mistakes. I, th- I think we're good. It's really funny in CSD. Is that a good tweet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find it funny because what was the really pedantry one of um oh organizers spelt with an S. Yeah, no. I that... get really angry at that because Americanism shouldn't be a thing anymore. It's just a bunch of people who want to feel better than you. Which is why they pull people up on me- Americanisms like the word math. Well, maybe if England had stayed relevant, would you or use your spelling? Organize. <laughs> Yeah, America. Uh, it's, it's, the Z makes more sense. Yeah, it's not organized. The Z makes more sense. Color without a U makes more sense. Uh, Aluminium what? is correct, though. No, well, they spell it differently. They actually do spell yeah, it differently. Yeah, they spell it differently, and which it's is wrong. weird. But I, I'm with you and, like, on it's that. It's scientists. Because I think what about I think aluminium <laughs> and aluminum. <laughs> That's what we should say. Don't New Zealand and um, Australia use the American ones? A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have another question. So is it, it data or data? Data. Data. I use, data. It depends on the context. I, I'm Australian, say so data. Data. I mean, data. Data. I'm not, say, I'm not saying not I don't Australian. use... From London, no. London. Yeah, I, I, do we I have any do, minute work do, on Do we have system? anyone who can oh, do an Australian out. accent? I, I can do a great Australian accent. I know, mate. So. No, I can hold it forever as well. <gasps> we do. We do actually have a men at work. Which one? What M- down under. Man down under. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go overkill. I think you that's the best one. I mean, I cannot do any good accents. My life isn't worth living no more. All oh, right. God, no. Okay. Ed, I, I just love the one. quotes from The Simpsons. Ed, will you do another show where it's Ed's gossip show? Is this knife I, I, uh, Yeah, why? Because I just want to have a show where you just talk about the inner workings of Demon and the university as like a gossip show. Why? Why? What, what, why should it, I host this? I would find it funny. <laughs> We already have a, a, a <laughs> agony aunt show. Do, do, with do you want to message come, us on Twitter? Should, should we go in tomorrow morning or um, Saturday, in like the afternoon, and do a gossip show? Yeah, like just or we about- sat there. We'll sit there. We'll have like drinks and stuff and biscuits, <laughs> and we'll have a proper natter. It's spill the tea. <laughs> I, I, I spend. A ho- I would want to spend one hour at least moaning about Maddie. That's not demon drama. That's oh, you just I, whining I, I, about your girlfriend. And Tom, I'll, I'll moan about Tom dies. Well, you can't moan about me. I'm cool. I'll, exactly. I'll spend yeah. like sixty seconds. I, I, I would like to know that I don't want to be your relationship counselor. So if you bring Thank Maddie you. with you, we are not discussing. Oh no, this. Maddie's not going to be What's there. I'm just going to be moaning guess. about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the new show. It's a gossip show. It's Tom complains about his girlfriend to her. <laughs> <laughs> and tries to get sympathy. <laughs> tries to, yeah, he's just like, oh, look at you with a girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I did last night? I sat on a lesbian sofa for like eight hours. <laughs> it was pretty great. Although she's a bit annoyed with me because I keep telling, I keep learning things about her and she doesn't remember that she's told me. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to your favourite Friday night show, your favourite show probably all time, Mead and Cheese. Um, thank you for everyone to join in as listening today. I've, we've had some great feedback on the Twitter, and if you want to talk to us, tweet in at Demon FM or yes. at Mead underscore and underscore Cheese. The tweet, ma- the yeah. tweet message. Uh, we've also got underscore Demon FM on uh, Instagram, haven't we? Yes, we oh, do. Yeah. If you would like to um, at us, message us, or anything else like that, or tag us and stuff, we don't mind. Or we tell us how handsome Evan is. Exactly. Yeah. Evan needs lots uh, of compliments. Yeah. 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 Evan. Evan. Evan has great movie taste. We like. Way. We like to give our Evan a good ten pats yeah. on the head a day. Ten. Ten. Yeah. He, he that and also he has like the best the jumpers. It's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I like Planet of the Apes. I like trains. He likes trains. <laughs> Titanic. He came up with that Titanic in De Montfort. I like cream soda. Yeah, <laughs> he likes cream soda. He's just, you know, everything you could ever want. Exactly. That's I think Evan should have Titanic. his own like mead brand. They did Titanic too, didn't they? And it just, <gasps> didn't really? Go, no, not film. The actual ship. They just yeah. launched a second. Oh one. yeah, of course. Yeah, and it's did the they? weirdest thing because it went on the same. Oh like, no, it's route. still planned. They haven't done it yet. You should get on that. Why are they doing this? Why are they? Why, why not? I mean, it's going to make a ton of money, but that's yeah. because... Um, you know when space cruises, travel is discovered, they will make cruises. a Titanic in space, so I will be proven right. Oh, like space. Doctor Who? Yeah, yes. remember that bit? Yeah. Where it um, almost crashed into London at Christmas, killing the Queen. I love Doctor Who. It's so awful. <laughs> yeah, but that episode it's amazing. Was be, great. No, we can't. Oh, on that was a great Doctor Who episode, the one you're referring to, by yeah, the way. It yeah, it was really good. It was good. It Who was, which Doctor good was content. it? I might tune out. Matt Smith. No, that was Tenant. No, that was Tenant. Was oh, it Tenant? Yes. Yeah. It was and the one, it was the one where they introduced Wilf. And it was like uh Kali Minogue, I think. Wilf. 
for that one episode? Uh, Bernard Cribbins. Yeah, Kylie Minogue. Yeah, Kylie Minogue was in the. It's Wilf. Wilf. Tales of the Crash. Um, Tales of the Crash. Catherine Tate's dad. Donna's dad. Wow. Yes. I remember no, Donna's this granddad. Voyage of the Dam. Yeah, that one. Oh, look at that. Look at that shit. Yeah. That's what I said. But I, and he actually, Bernard Cribbins was what, too good for this world. What I liked about this shit, they did make it spacey, but it was literally like... The Titanic. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it looked like that. The, 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 Wait, the it's Bernard Cribbins' dad. Oh, look, little spiky man. I forget about that. Let's uh, have a look. Bernard Cribbins. B- Bernard. Bernard Cribbins He's is still, still alive. alive. He's still kicking at 93. Wow, I Respect love him. Respect to the mud lad. Yeah, that's a long time to oh. run. And you're doing a good job, man. Bernard Cribbins... You know, we add my favourite Doctor Who, Doctor Who, um, he won't know. You know, um, <laughs> <He's still laughs> how do you sweat her? Um, my favourite Doctor Who episode, it has to be the Madame de Pompadour one. You know, with the clock people. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was amazing. That one actually so made, good. like, the freaked girl in the my sister out. It, it, had... used, it freaked me out, too, yeah. but I loved it. And it literally, that was before Parts of the Caribbean came out, and my fascination with, like, you know, uh, Georgian... French courtiers' outfits. Oh yeah. my god! Like and it was outfit. so sad and tragic by the end. It was amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, but it was like the impact and everything. You just didn't know what was going on. It was like, oh, so good. Uh, it, I, yeah, but was it the um, Angels episode? The first. No, the first oh, week of Angels Link episode is absolutely was amazing. Well, yeah, because it's shot more like a horror film. It is. It, it is. doesn't have the Doctor it's in it. So it's good. Actually and the worst mm. bit about the Angels is they the, the next appearance they of them, them they ruin it because yeah. they show them moving, which just it, it just doesn't make it scary. No, yeah, They're, no, it's it's really cool. Oh. Stephen Moffat, you write great things, but you had awful, like, really long pro- plot lines. Yeah, he. Here's the thing. He I, has I great like initial ideas. The more he expands on them, you're like, yeah. please don't. What, um, oh, what's the awful girl's name? Mm. Who Clara? Just wouldn't, yeah, Clara. I hate Clara as well, <laughs> with a passion. To be fair, I It's really. actually like left a... I, I have a little grudge against the actress who played her, and she's a fine oh. actress, whatever. Just Clara Oswald as a character was so annoying. And then there was me, or whatever, like, the... the um, uh, whatever, like Viking girl, <laughs> who just lived forever yeah, and was. She was really oh, annoying. So petulant. Like, she oh, was even God. more annoying, actually. Oh, just Maisie look Williams at the costumes. Look at the design of it, of just like the oh. masks and everything, and then the the tick 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 noise. It would be absolutely terrifying. And then it's like under the bed, they're reaching under the door. It's absolutely creepy. And then on top of that, they turned people into bits of the ship. That's the main plot of that. Oh yeah, they were they were they were growing her so they could harvest her body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, so that's weird. messed up. I completely and then the doctor so just of sort of like movie. flies in on a horse oh, <laughs> through a mirror. God. That was awesome. Oh, that was I don't brilliant. think that was awesome. I think that was silly. Oh, it was brilliant. Uh, you know, it is a silly show. It's not what an insult. What a great show it was. <laughs> no, it's not an insult, but it's also not awesome. I haven't, I haven't watched um, the late the last series, and I don't really want to. Cause uh, I, until Moffat, uh, until uh, sorry, uh, not Moffat. Uh, what's his name? He's the, he's returning. Uh, yes, um, Russ. uh, Legend, yes. Yeah, until Russell, Russell Davis Russ. is back, I don't. He is I'm back, not in, isn't he? Not yet. Uh, yeah, he's back for in a year. Next season. Yeah, yeah. Then I will return to it. Yes, Who'd because get, I loved it. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite shows yeah. ever. Well, they get rid of Jodie. Yeah, yeah, they're getting rid of her. Shut up, Fred. Yeah, they're, no, they're getting rid of Jodie Whittaker. So I really want like Chris Marshall, hmm? who was in Death in Paradise. I think just do Jodie Whittaker. Or again. he's a good actress. I I quite like. Jodie oh, that's Whittaker a good idea. Who would you like as the next? Uh, oh, what's it? Um, uh, Miller, Ben Miller. Mm, I would love Ben Miller as the Doctor. I think that would be great. Like, but what yeah. Thing? I'm sorry. I get. I got very, What, oh, what was the good. one they were suggesting? Ollie Alexander. I don't think that would be great. Ollie Alexander. Hmm. Yeah. From what's that mm. band? Yeah, yeah. I I honestly think that that would have been a bit dull, and he's a bit too young, because we went from Peter Capaldi, who is old man, to Jodie Whittaker, who isn't as old, and then Ollie Alexander, who's twenty seven. I don't think we should Off go young the, again. I would no, like to go I, old I th- again. I think keep it old for a while, yeah. which is why I just really want. I just really want Ben Miller. What would be That'd your be dream brilliant. casting in Doctor Who? Not like the next the dream. Ben Miller. <laughs> really? No. Oh, who'd be great? Who would you, who would you want? Helen Mirren. I know we're never going to get her, but she would be amazing. Mm. She's an incredible actress. Who who would be good? This Daniel Craig Mirren. might be fun. <gasps> that would be very fun. That but then be again, he's got um, Knives Out now. Yeah, of course, but it would be and very that is fun. Brilliant. He is amazing. <gasps> it was really good. The first movie was really oh, good. It was so good. I'm a bit worried for the second one, though. Yeah, because I don't worried. see it being Did good. Did you say worried? 
Yeah, yeah, because of, yeah, according because to you, I'm from Woozy. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, like the first one had such a clever twist. I'm afraid oh, they might God, screw yeah. it up in the second one. Yeah, yeah, because you will be expecting it. Yeah. But in the first one, it's just like, oh my God, like you're on the edge of your seat the whole way. Oh, wow, that movie, man. Really good, really good. What a movie. But I'm still going to show up and see it. I really like it. Yeah, I, I will. I think it'll be on Prime. I think it's in on Prime, yeah. Mm, excited. Who would you have as Doctor Who, Tom? Me? No, I wouldn't act her. Um, I don't know. Every British celebrity is awful. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you think Jeremy uh, who's Corbyn Who's the one that people want to be the be James Bond? Idris Elba. Oh, Idris Elba. That would be really, that'd be really funny. That would be really he, cool. he wouldn't lower himself to that, though. Yeah, I don't think he would go no. into TV standard, but he would be cool. I'm going to search British actors, and then I'm going to pick the seventh um, one. David Mitchell? Right, seventh one. Idris Elba number one. Benedict Cumberbatch number two. Colin Firth, Tom Hardy. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Ca- sorry, no, Colin Hardy. I, I have a thing. We've got I Ian just... McKellen. Ian McKellen is the next Doctor. I really like uh, Hugh Grant films. Uh, specifically, uh, the run of films, the run of sitcoms he was in. Is that a controversial statement? I actually like Hugh Grant films. Of course, yeah, they're amazing. There's um, what was it? The Four Weddings and a Funeral. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Notting Hill. Yes. Uh, you know what Love he did? Actually. You know what he did just before doing them, by the way. What? The man who went up the hill and came down the mountain. Oh, yeah, he did that, which yeah. is also kind of awesome. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It was in the same year that Braveheart and, like, another really important yeah, Irish Yeah, but Braveheart isn't great. Yeah, Braveheart, you, it, Braveheart is so inaccurate. It's actually kind of so funny watching it. But it's still, like... Yes, it's I, better than yes, I want to see an Australian today. man pretending to be Scottish, Scottish and I want to see people with kilts before kilts were invented. Exactly. They also should have been I mean, you um, can, not What did they wear before then? Exactly. Nothing. No, well, did yeah. they just wear like tunics? They wore sporins. Jerkins? What's a sporin? You see, clothes didn't actually reach Scotland until the 1670s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sporin, did you say? Sporin, yeah. Sporan or sporin? Sporin. Should we it's begin a... to actually wrap up the show because we got because Tom did the outro? Tom's and then really we... craving some onion rings right now. That's yeah, what well, he's made. He did the about outro him. and then we just continued talking about Doctor <laughs> Who. I, I would like you to have some onion rings. How did we get to Doctor Who? No, it, they didn't wear a sporin. A sporin's an accessory to a kilt. You don't know ah. what you're talking about. God, we're not going to get there. Well, no, right, no, are we in now though? Because it is time to leave. Yes, it's four minutes to nine, and we're going to have to finish meat and cheese. Thank you. Thank you oh, all for listening today. We will continue our mission to raise awareness of mead uh, across the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland. We'll have DJ next, DJ next week. Next time. Yeah. DJ Ch- um, Corey, uh, DJ Mead, mead and Mr. Cheese will probably return next week, next yeah. Friday, to continue. And we still this never mission. found out what Thank Kieran you. was cooking. And no. we will inform you of what Kieran was cooking. Also, uh, we're going to have the great cheese cheese off. Yes, yes, the great cheese cheese off is on next week. Do, 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 do. And We'll 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 come to the conclusion of what um, Britain's favourite cheese is.